this white thing I got here, okay? People have asked me what's in it, what's in it. It's nothing special. It is <clears throat> hard to say, but it is a V6 car. It is a V6 car. It does have a GT built rear and it's on some spray. It's nothing special. It's a nice looking car. It's fun. It's not going to be white for long. I'm saying it now. It will not be white for long. Love the white. It gets dirty too easy for me. But, um, to start from the inside, it was completely gutted at one point. But, if you'll take seat, basically gutted all the way out. I've got an SCT tuner. My buddy Lewis at Lewis Performance tuned the car. Got some gauges up there. Radar, like normal people. Arming switch, purge, normal stuff like everybody else. There's a bottle in the trunk. Car's gonna get a cage soon. Because we got a big plane for this car. But there you go, 10 pound bottle. Lines are into the trunk. It's got a gauge. All that other pretty stuff. It runs up there. I did not run it under the car. Didn't care much for it. And like I was saying, 10 pound bottle in the trunk, some stickers, and a little bit of a ricer. I'm on a race star. It is a uh, 15 by 10, 275, 60, 15. Big tire for a V6 car. But not gonna be a V6 car forever. When this motor goes, which it will, I know it will. Car's only on 100 shots, but it will go soon. Rear end setup, pretty standard. Viking double adjustable, BMR, everything. We've got drag springs, relocation brackets. Basically, full bolt on the car. It's on boiler, mufflers, some uh, pipes, X pipe, uh, pace center long tube headers. It's loud, it's fun. It does what it needs to do. 100 shot. It's getting a converter and a cage because it won't be V6 for long for the third time saying it. But there it is. Bolt on. It's got an intake, some headers, bottom body spacer. It's on a fogger kit. Dual purge. Comes out both sides. Big time. But nothing special. Long tube headers. much it's just a nice fun car i've had it for a while it's my first car and after the v6 blows i know a lot of people are going to hate me because the car is going to go ls Like I said, it is a V6 car. Not a lot of V6 cars are as loud. I know not a lot of people put money into V6 cars. I know people are gonna say these things. I really don't care. Like I said, the car's not gonna be a V6 car forever. So, I'm not really too worried about it. But it is gonna get a cage. It is gonna get a converter. And I'm gonna try it for the 4.0 V6 Mustang record. I believe it's only like a 12.4, which I know it ain't fast. Don't worry, I ain't trying to go fast. This ain't the setup to go fast. I don't want to go turbo. I don't want to boost it or nothing like that. It nitrous, it blows, it blows. It don't, it don't. But the motors are cheap, and I have fun with it. That's it. I like having reliability. But, like I said, when it goes, it's going LS. Hate me or not, it's a Ford. I like Chevy motors. I don't care. And it is going carbureted, because I don't plan on fucking with all that EFI bullshit. So... But the uh, exhaust setup is a uh, pace setter, long tube headers. It's got no cats at all. Pipes, off-road, X-pipe, boiler attacks. And I forgot to tell you in the rear, it has a 410 gear with a uh, Ford Racing T-Lock or T-Lock kit. And it's just the uh, factory 8A with a traction lock kit on a stock posi unit. Basically just a rebuild posi with some 410s and a bunch of BMR suspension. I've got springs for it, but my offset's a little off, so I can't really drop it much lower because he's uh, stick out a little much for me. I've got some fronts for it. They're 15 by seven fronts. The rears are, like I said, 15 by 10. The uh, back spacing isn't right on these wheels, but just to 
set a record i think it'll do when we start going real fast and i start making some real power then we'll switch out the wheels and i'll sell them and get a different set really want a set of uh welds or ts's that would look really good on the car especially if i kept it white but not staying white either but it's got raxium everything headlights fog lights it's got a cdc splitter it's got stop tech brakes and rotors even though they don't look too pretty because they've been used for a while painted calipers i did the normal ricer type shit i got stickers on the car i'm not mad at it i do it i don't care have fun we have raxium tail lights we painted these black like real spray gun painted so it's not like they come like that they're just painted dip was pretty fun it's the first car i ever dipped but the car is a v6 car i'm not mad at it but i'll give you guys a couple exhaust clips while we're here now we're warmed up end up throwing in a couple of pictures here and there for uh what's been done and if i have pictures of what happened when we did it you guys already know i did hit a deer with this car but we did fix it we brought it back even though everyone told me not to get a gt but they weren't giving me enough money for a gt so who cares it's my first car not a lot of guys get to keep their first car or rebuild it or figure out everything about it but uh is it and we're gonna go and try for this 12 second slow record this year but it is what it is converter coming cage coming ls coming ls swap Ooh, not a lot of guys are gonna like that one. but yeah i'm just having fun doing what i'm doing so yeah uh we did turn off the rev limiter on the tune so it does rev out to basically wherever I wanted to go. I wasn't gonna go red line or bounce off the RPM. That's just not me. And I don't plan on blowing it up that way. I'd rather blow up on the track. Or at least after break a record. But yeah, this is my 05 Ford Mustang 4.0. And this is what our YouTube channel is gonna be all about basically. So I get a new car which there might be another car in the mix right now. Newer than this one, but it's probably gonna stay Mustang. Maybe I'll get a Camaro or something someday. Well, that's it, and I'll check you guys out later.